Lymphatic filariasis, which is commonly known as elephantiasis, is endemic in 83 tropical countries, putting 1.3 billion people at risk. Mosquitoes spread the parasite, which infects the human lymphatic system and causes swelling and deformity of limbs and other body parts. Early stage detection of elephantiasis could reduce the morbidity rate and prevent permanent damage caused by this disease. Also, development of a low-cost, highly sensitive diagnostic tool makes screening of large populations in endemic regions possible. Hi, my name is Ruzbe Safavi and my bold idea is to develop a rapid and low-cost biosensor for early diagnosis of elephantiasis in low-income countries. I will achieve that by first developing a capillary-driven microchip which can perform one step high sensitive immunoassay to detect filarial antigen in human plasma. We will then program a circuit which can connect the disposable chips we have made to a smartphone and thus use a smartphone as a low-cost electrochemical reader for our chips. We have developed a unique liquid handling microchip in which all the operations are powered by capillary effects, thus the chip does not need any external pump or valve for its operation. A typical procedure of the microchip is illustrated in the movie. The chip has the ability to accurately meter samples, switch between liquids, and time reactions. The technology has several superiorities over conventional point-of-care diagnostics, including high-sensitive quantitative analysis of biomarkers and low-cost manufacturing due to the simplicity of the design. In this project, I will collaborate with Dr. Yankee's lab at McGill University and Dr. Niru Singh at Regional Medical Research Center for Tribals in India. Professor Yankir's expertise in developing diagnostics for global public health will provide the scientific support needed to develop this innovative idea. Professor Niru Singh is a fellow of National Academy of Science in India, whose lab facilities in Jalapur will perform both the lab and field validation studies in this region. As an area of the world that battles elephantiasis with 6 to 9 percent of their population, they will help us to address the social and business aspects required to make this bold idea a reality.